hello uh, we are just learning how to uh, mark the spleen so spleen remember always is marked on the posterior aspect uh, and on the left side not on the right side so this one is the right side of the patient this one is the left side of the patient and uh, now we have to mark the spleen this is very important to correctly mark it so let's start let's first know that what are the points there are four important points which uh, you should know while marking the spleen first one is uh, at the level of t10 vertebra so how to count t10 vertebra in a live patient so if this one is the skeleton you know um, and it is easy to um, count but in the patient um, it is sometime difficult and how can you uh, easily do it you know that this one is the uh, vertebra prominence uh, c7 vertebra that is the first vertebral spine that is palpable so you will just palpate it as c7 and then count it down t1 t2 3 4 5 6 and 7 8 9 and then t10 so for example this one is t10 this is as t10 vertebra so t10 vertebra so the first point is four centimeter away from the t10 vertebra so this is the t10 vertebra four centimeter away and second important point is in the mid axillary line in the mid axillary line for example if this one is the mid axillary line mid axillary line and 10th rib and you have to calculate this 10th rib and you know that uh, the rib attached to the 10th vertebra is the uh, 10th rib so you will just go to this rib and in the mid axillary line this is your second point so these are two points then you will you can count down this uh, uh, you can measure this distance for example if this is uh, 14 centimeter you will go exactly in the halfway mid so this way one rib up that is the ninth rib this is your third point um this is your third point and then your fourth point is one rib uh, below that that is in the on the 11th uh, rib so 10th rib and 11th rib 9 10 and 11 rib so you will just um, join all these points and uh, then this is how you will mark the spleen this oval shape this is the superior border this is the superior border this is the inferior border this one is the medial end and this one is the uh, lateral end so this is how you can mark the spleen correctly in the exam if you are asked remember um, important things always from the posterior aspect always on the left side um t from account from c7 then t1 t uh, t1 through to t10 and then t10 four centimeter away from here and then on the same rib i'll to the 10th t10 vertebra in the mid axillary line then third point is uh, uh, on the ninth rib uh, midway between the first and second uh, point and fourth point is uh, on the 11th rib midway between first and the uh, second point and joining all these points on the posterior aspect uh, you can correctly um, mark the spleen so this is very easy thank you so much for watching Bismillah rahman rahim uh, let's learn how to do surface marking for the liver so it is uh, not um, that difficult uh, it is um, however it is a little bit complicated and we will we can mark it very easily so <coughs> liver <coughs> liver has four uh, three borders upper lower and the right one the upper border is uh, by uh, is marked by three points first point will be in the fifth intercostal space just below the uh, fifth uh, rib and uh, just below the nipple in the fifth intercostal space this that will be the <coughs> first point so this is the first point 
this is the first point second point is uh, in the ahthazif uh, sternum joint that is for, uh, in the ahthazif sternum joint and the third point is in the right or uh, in the left fifth intercostal space just below the um, uh, nipple uh, just corresponding to the apex bead so that will be in the uh, in the left inter uh, fifth intercostal space so we will mark these by the convex shape and then concave and then it will become again convex so this is the upper border the lower border is uh, uh, is marked by four points first point is at the tip of the 10th costal cartilage this is uh, uh, 10th costal cartilage and uh, tip of the 10th costal cartilage second is the tip of the 9th costal cartilage so this one is the tip of the 9th costal cartilage <clears throat> third point is uh, in the midpoint of the transpyloric plane that will be here in the transpyloric plane and fourth point is the uh, same point third point for the um, for the upper border so we will join all these borders like this and uh, then the uh, right border that is uh, formed by joining uh, the superior margin superior border and the inferior border on the right side so we, in the convex shape in the concave shape so we will join these uh, two borders so the and this is how we can join um, uh, do the surface marking for the liver the most important point here is that this as you see the costal margin this is the tip of the 10th rib not the 9th rib the 9th rib uh, tip of the costal uh, cortile of the 9th rib is little bit higher than the uh, costal margin and uh, you know the transpyloric plane transpyloric plane is between the uh, tip of the ninth cost costal cartilage on both sides so that will be the transpyloric plane when you are asked to mark um, the transpyloric plane don't mark it by the 10th uh, costal cartilage but a little bit higher and go to the ninth costal cartilage and its uh, uh, tip and uh, then the ninth cost to call tip on the left side as well so this is how you we can uh, we can uh, we can uh, mark transpyloric plane and the uh, right and the liver so that is a little bit tricky but it's not uh, that difficult and we have to um, we have to mark it from the anterior side not from the posterior side as uh, opposed to the kidney and the spleen thank you so much for watching